Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. And today, we're going to laser cut this cute little wine bottle holder. If this is your first time here, I do project videos using a Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if you like those type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. Welcome to the project. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And some of us men gonna have to pull out those romantics. Women too. So me and my homeboy was talking about setups and presentation because most of us is gonna be spending Valentine's Day right in the crib. And my homeboy, he's turning into a wine connoisseur. Then when I thought about it, I told him, you need one of those wine bottle holders. That's gonna be super dope when you set up the presentation for Valentine's Day. But he didn't even know what I was talking about. So in today's project, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna laser cut a custom wine bottle holder. And I'm gonna share everything with you from the materials and all of the tools that I use and how I designed the laser cut file for the wine bottle holder. Okay, I got some 1 4th inch basswood that I got from Joann's, wood stain that I got from Walmart, staining pads that I also got from Walmart, wine glasses, because it is a birthday going on too, but not mine though. And of course, a bottle of wine. Okay, I will be using Corel Draw 2020 to make this design. I'm pretty sure you can use any type of graphic software. It's very, very simple to make. So let's jump on into Corel Draw and design it. Okay, this is the design right here that I'm gonna cut out, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. So let's create a new page. Okay, we got a new page. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go over here to this circle tool right here. We're gonna change it to a hairline, just press okay. So basically, we're just gonna create a long shape, something like this, a spear, circle, whatever you wanna call it, I don't know. And we're going to make it 10 inches wide. So it's gonna be that wide. And we wanna get this 2.9 is close to three. So it's gonna be 10 by three. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom all the way in as close as I can, just so I can move it close to three. So we're gonna make it a little wider. So it's gonna be taller, it's close to three, like so. See, if we was to go up here and just press three, what it's gonna do is gonna change our dimensions for the length. We're gonna go back and we want it to be as close to 10.3. So this is what we're gonna go with right here. Next thing we're going to do is we're gonna create the cutout circle in the middle. And I already did the measurement, so we're gonna hold down Command and we're going to open up the circle and it's going to be 1.2. That's how we're gonna do that. We're just gonna place it right in the center. So the easiest way to make sure that it's directly in the center is we're going to select everything, go up here to alignment, and we're going to center horizontally and vertically. So first we're gonna do the horizontally, and then we're gonna do it vertically. So it's directly in the center. So the next thing we're going to do, we want to measure from this edge one and a half inches inside. And that's what we're gonna put the other cutout circle for the wine glass. So we wanna go over here to this dimension, this parallel dimensions right here. And we just wanna, let's zoom in. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna click it till we see the edge. And we're just gonna drag it over until we get to one and a half inches in length. So right there, then we wanna let go, and then we wanna just drag it down, and it's gonna give us 1.5. So the next thing we wanna do is go up here to the circle. We wanna create the circle to be one inch. So it's gonna be one inch in diameter, like so. And we're just gonna drag it and we're gonna line it right in the center of this until we get it close to the center right on the edge. See it says center right there, and we're just gonna let it go. And then we're gonna click out of this, and we're going to take this, and we're going to erase it. So we know that it is one inch directly from that side, and we're gonna do the same thing 
to this side. And to make it even simple, we're just gonna select it all, go up here to alignment, and we're going to line it vertically. So now everything is centered. So now as you can see, it's starting to come alive. But now we have to make the cutout part so we can slide the wine glasses in on each side. We're gonna go over to this square, and I did the measurements for this also. We wanna make it the width point four two. It doesn't matter how long it is, cause we're gonna cut it all off anyway. So we're just gonna take it and just put it somewhere over there. Or we can make it shorter, like so. As long as it's inside of the circle, it's connecting some kind of way, it's cool. So we wanna do that. We wanna select it, we're gonna make a copy. We're gonna edit, paste. And we're gonna take this one and we're gonna move it on this side like so. And then while it's like that, we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. Select everything, go up here to alignment and go to vertically. So it's gonna line it directly in the center. Now we know everything is lined in the center. We're gonna go over here to one of my favorite tools, which is the virtual segment delete tool. And we're just gonna start from the outside and we're just gonna select it and delete, delete and open it up like so. And as you can see, it's opened up on this side and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Start from the outside and work our way to the inside, like so. And as you can see, it's coming together really, really good. To make it like what you know is gonna be right, this is one of my other favorite tools. We're gonna go over to this little paint bucket right here and we're gonna do a smart fill. And we're gonna take it and we're just gonna Smart fill it up. We're just gonna create another page. We're gonna go back to it. We're gonna select that smart fill anywhere within that color and we're going to cut it out. Cut and we're going to place it on the new page that we just created. It's so already got a hairline around it and we're just going to unfill it. And this way we know it's all connected. It ain't no pieces by themselves or anything like that. Cause we go back to the original one, you can select certain parts of it and it's not connected. So you can move that out of the way and all that. But once you do the smart fill tool, it automatically going to join, we're on a new page. It's automatically gonna join all of the pieces together. So it's one solid piece. And if you wanna do some extra customization or engraving or anything like that, you can just go over here to this tool right here, the, the font tool, select your font and you can add some to it like I did right here. So let's head to the laser and cut it out. couple of hours of drawing, these is the results. Now it turned out way better than what I thought. Keep in mind, I have never stained any wood before like this. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure it's another step to this to probably make it shiny or something like it. I honestly didn't know how that walnut stain was gonna appear on this basswood, but it's actually lighter than what I thought. And it also helped bring out the engraved because if you wanna compare it, it was this color it was this light but now it's this dark so you can see the staining difference on what it did to help bring out the darker color and to help with the engrave i really like how it turned out so let's see it in action And there you have it, laser cut custom wine bottle holder. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next project. Peace. Mm -hmm.